I'm proud to have the privilege to present a historic measure for the state of California. Under AB 60, all California motorists will be eligible to obtain a driver's license if they pass the driving and written test, submit proof of identity, and comply with all other licensing requirements. Senate amendments include minor recognizable features on the front and back of the license. It also strengthens anti-discrimination provisions and privacy provisions. But there, members, there is already nine states across the country, including the District of Columbia, our nation's capital, and Puerto Rico, who have signed bills to address this issue. Previous states that had a driver's license law for immigrants included Utah and New Mexico. Last year, there was a historic celebration in the state of Illinois. But just this year alone, other states that have also passed similar legislation include the state of Oregon, Nevada, Colorado, Maryland, Connecticut, and Vermont. For more than a decade, members, our colleague and my good friend, Senator Gil Cedillo, embarked on a long journey to make sure that all drivers are properly trained, licensed, and insured. I want to thank our leaders in the Assembly and in the Senate. And I especially want to thank the, my fellow Latino caucus members who have worked hard on this very important measure. I also want to thank our advocates in the labor community who have identified areas in the legislation that needed further anti-discriminatory protections for immigrant workers. This is a time to move California forward. I want to respectfully ask for your I vote. But just know, this bill is going to have a positive impact on the lives of over 2 million immigrants in the state of California. This bill has the most discreet changes on the license than any other legislation enacted across the country post-2006. And it's the only measure that includes anti-discriminatory provisions to make sure that we protect our immigrant community. But more important, members, this measure is going to ensure that when our immigrant families and immigrant workers are driving down the road, that they could have a lawful way to become licensed, tested, and insured while on our roads. But it's also going to ensure that they won't get pulled over and have their cars impounded, that they won't be arrested and humiliated in front of their families, their children, that they won't get fines in excess of two or $3,000 during that 30-day impoundment, that they might have to be booked and, and fingerprinted because they have no ID and then wrapped up in the Secure Communities Program and then placed in deportation proceedings. We have had far too many families who have been divided, far too many workers who have been deported for not having something so basic, so simple as a driver's license. This is a historic night, members. The stars have aligned on this bill as well. And I want to take an opportunity for all of you. We have the opportunity to be on the right side of history, to take an affirmative vote to improve the lives of over 2 million immigrants in the state of California. We have a chance to lead again on this issue. I ask, respectfully ask for your eye vote on this very important measure. Mr. Alejo, you may close. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And again, I want to thank everybody who expressed and articulated their concerns and their support or uh, comments about this historic bill. But I do want to remind everyone that before January 1st, 1994, there was no requirement to show proof of a Social Security number. In 1993, Senator Al Alquist authored a law that, for the first time ever, required people to submit a Social Security number for a driver's license. And it's only been since that uh, implementation date that many undocumented persons have not been able to be eligible for a driver's license. So it used to be California law that they could apply and get tested and be insured and drive on our roads lawfully. But this is a very historic night for all immigrant communities. And as my colleague from San Diego said, it's not just Latino communities. It's African immigrants. It's Asian immigrants. It's European immigrants. It's immigrant communities of all colors and all backgrounds that will benefit from this law. But I want to take a moment just to thank my colleagues in the Latino Legislative Caucus who made this a priority bill this year to push this and come together to make sure that we made this a reality for our communities. I want to take a moment just to especially thank our Latino caucus senators who were determined to make sure that this bill was going to move forward, including Senators Lara and De Leon. But I also want to thank our speaker 
and our President Pro Tem, who have always been strongly supportive of this important measure. But members, this is the best shape that this bill has ever been. It's been argued in this, in Sacramento, in, in these chambers for almost two decades. But for the first time in the history of this bill, we have Republican co-authors. I want to commend Senator Anthony Canella for joining with us and co-authoring this for the very first time. We've had Re Republican Assembly members who have voted for this bill this year. I want to thank them as well. But for the first time ever, last Friday, we got the first endorsement ever by the California Police Chiefs Association. Law enforcement is on board with this bill with these amendments that we've taken to make sure we put it in the best shape. But also, we have a governor, a governor who has engaged in serious negotiations because he understands how important this bill is for California. And lastly, I just want to thank my staff, the workers in my office who knew how important this bill and the previous bill were for hardworking Californians, and they worked diligently for, year, for, for many months to make sure we put this bill in the best shape. But lastly, members, I want to commend and thank somebody who's not here with us today, but who's watching us from Los Angeles, from home, and that is our good friend and former colleague here, Senator Gil Cedillo, who at the end of his term last year asked me to carry the torch, to keep fighting for this bill, to keep making it a reality, so we have to get it done in 2013. And so I just want to take a moment to acknowledge him, but also, as you may not know, when I was an Assembly Fellow back in 2001 and 2002, the first person that I met to explain what it was like to be a legislator here in Sacramento was Gil Cedillo. And he was fighting for this bill then, and here we are 11 years later, and I'm able to carry on his work and make it a reality. But I remember a story when his late wife passed away, Ruby Cedillo, and when she was almost facing death, she took a moment and she urged Gil to say, don't give up until you make this law a reality in the state of California. I read that story, and I want to dedicate this night, this special moment, in honor of Ruby Cedillo and also his parents, who his mom was just here on the floor last year as his woman of the year. She passed away. She didn't get to see this moment either. His father just passed away last weekend, Gilbert and Mary Cedillo, his parents, who didn't get to see this moment. They knew how important this was for him. But they're up in a better place, but they could look down on us tonight and see that California is making history and California is making this a reality for the thousands, if not millions, of hardworking immigrants who only want a lawful way to drive their cars to work, to church, to take their kids to school, to buy groceries, to take them to the doctor. Members, next year is the 20th anniversary of Prop 187. When that took place, many of us, including Ricardo Lara and I, Manuel Press, we were just kids. 19-year-olds, young activists who fought to stand up for our communities during one of the most draconian measures in the history of California. And here we are, 20 years later, as members of this legislature, able to author historic legislation like this that integrates the immigrant community, that makes their life better. And I want to thank everyone. But this is a moment, members, that years from now, you'll reflect back on this historic night. And you're going to ask yourself, were you on the right side of history? Did you do the right thing for working families? Thank so, you, Mr. Alejo. Please, please I just finish. Want to close, member, uh, Mr. Speaker, I just want to dedicate this to the thousands of farm workers, hotel workers, restaurant workers who worked so hard and asked for us to enact this legislation. It just shows que si se puede, we did get it done. Muchas gracias, and I urge an I vote.